I'm aware that this could look like that. I don't know what to do with this thing. <laughs> so over it. I don't want to buzz my hair right now. I I paid a lot of money for this. Say hi to the Benito. Where am I anyway? Every few months, I feel like I reinvent myself. I hear a new song and then that triggers something. It's like I shed my skin. A few days ago, I heard a new song and it lit the spark for this new phase of myself where I now realize, hey, Nils, it's time for Nils 25.0. What I do after I hear that new song, I go through my wardrobe and I look through everything that no longer fits my old self. I take them all to a consignment store, sell that clothing, and buy new clothing. And then if I want to go even more extreme, I change my hairstyle. My hair defines a lot of what I look like. I wish it didn't, but it does. And so some of the times when I'm in this phase of reinventing myself, I will go and redefine who I am by getting a new haircut. Sometimes it's drastic. I just buzz all of my hair off. And this time when I address the situation that is happening up here that I'm actually hiding right now because, well, it looks like this. I'm gonna do something that I've never done before, which could go horribly, horribly wrong, or it could be everything that I'm hoping that it is. So by the end of this video, I should look like a whole new person. broke a little sweat there. Ignore the glistening skin. But the final step is to add just a waft of some yummy smelling thing. So I'm gonna add one spray of this, two, three, just so that they open it up and they're like, wow, that's rich. This is also the best smelling thing ever. Almost every single time that I go to sell, usually it goes pretty well. I mean, I don't bring them ratty clothing. Although some of the things I'm bringing today are a tad ratty, but I put them in the middle, so hopefully they get distracted and think, well, it might as well buy this one too. This is the exact reason why I want to get Like what? After all that styling, it falls into a bowl cut. Um, I did some damage. It's time we address this. Even right now, it looks curlier than it usually is, but my hair is pin straight. After I shower, which excuse the grease, I didn't shower this morning and that's kind of gross. It just falls flat and I have to put so much product in it to just get it to stay in a relatively decent looking position. I had this idea a long time ago, but I didn't know whether or not it was possible. And then more recently I did some research and found out that it is possible. And that is getting a perm. <gasps> and I know what you're thinking.
not looking for the super tight pearls. I'm looking for what I think is called a Korean men's perm, or like a wavy perm. It goes by different names, but basically, instead of making your hair into really tight curls, you actually just make the curls a bit larger so that it ends up becoming wavy instead of super, super densely curly. I'm aware that this could look like I've been avoiding doing this because of that very reason, but I figured if not now, then literally when. I found a place where I live that seems to specialize in this. I'm gonna make an appointment and just go and do this, and if it looks like absolute trash, I... I don't know, I'll either wear a hat or I'll buzz my hair off and let it grow out. Later. The day is the day. It's actually falling pretty nice. Why couldn't today it fall into the bowl cut it usually does? Today. What? It's annoying. Can I not do this? <laughs> no, we're doing it. Let's see what my mood board looks like. And let's see whether or not we land in that realm. Or do we land in the realm of my current nightmare, which is looking like Annie. I have my board called hair. Like, I like the sweeping of the curls. This is honestly kind of what my hair looks like right now, which I don't want to have to put product in it for it to do this, but this is what I want it to look like. So is the perm even the right option? I don't know. I actually don't think this one's this. One. How do you get rid of something? Saved already here. I know. Why would this not say unsaved then? Pinterest, please work on your UX. I like this framing. It's going back. It's my hair. Like, if I didn't put a hat on today, <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, that actually makes my head feel kind of weird. My hair doesn't stand a chance against gravity, and I want it to. I want my curls to put up a fight against gravity and not just have it all fall down. So accomplishing something like this, I just, if I did this and it looked anything like this instead of this, that's a win. Should I just do this today? Because this is kind of a vibe. That'll be the next video. I'm not even kidding. This, I like this. Maybe I'll do this one as the back and then I'll do one, one from the side maybe. My hair, I don't think is that long. Is it? I do like this image though. I'm gonna go ahead and save this as maybe inspo from the side slash front. If this was the back of that one, imagine that. This will be the front. Really never thought I'd see a folder called this on my computer, but here we are. Okay, let's pull these up side by side. So this is the vibe. Bombastic side eye. Ooh, these are nice. Oh, oh, I like these. What are with these bugs? What is going on? You know what? I think I've had enough of Pinterest. I think we got it. We have our inspiration photos. Put them here. Say goodbye to this. These luscious locks, because they're about to get incinerated. It smells like burnt hair. I have curls! Oh no. ah! Several days later. So it's been a few days. As you can see, I am currently wearing a hat and I've been wearing this hat while going out with friends, going to work, and that's because I don't know what the f to do with it. Right after the perm, it looked great. Wow! The, lady, the lady that did this, so sweet, executed perfectly, looked exactly like the reference photos. You cannot wet or shampoo your hair for multiple days. And so I got kind of grimy and I was just like, you know what? The perm is looking a little weird because it's just nasty. I'll just wait the three days until I wash it and then it'll be back to what it looked like right after the perm. That day came and went. I don't know what to do with this thing. I cannot for the life of me figure it out. I mean, right now it's flat. To be fair, I just wore a hat. Okay, doesn't even look curly anymore. I don't, I don't know what the hell to do with this thing. Even right now, it's looking a little bit better than it usually does, which is saying a lot. Uh, 
before I'm going to work. I'm like, what the heck? What do I do? I'm looking like a fool. I just look like, I don't know, like a raggedy am. I've bought in some products that apparently will help me style this thing. And so we'll see right here and now. Is this a certified disaster? Am I an idiot for having thought that a perm was a good idea? Or do I just not know how to style this thing? So let me show you the products that I got that will hopefully help me with this. I got two types of leave-in conditioner since my hair is now screaming. I got a spray and then I also got a lotion leave-in conditioner because the woman that did my perm styled it with such a small amount of this and so maybe this is what I've been missing. I also watched a few videos where people were saying that sea salt spray can help define a perm so we'll see about that. The whole point of getting this was less maintenance and I guess I didn't look up a single video about someone getting a perm because I think it's more work. Apparently you're not just supposed to hair dry a perm so I got this attachment that you put on to the air dryer, hair dryer, that helps, I don't know, somehow it's better. So I bought that. It kind of just like makes you, I don't know. So we're gonna try this out. Oh my God, this thing is huge. I also got this obscenely large comb. I didn't know it was gonna be this big. Is it, is it apparent how large this is? This is, a, this is a very large comb, but anyway. I don't wanna buzz my hair right now. I, I paid a lot of money for this. I'm gonna wet my hair and I'll be back. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like wet. I don't know, this wasn't what I imagined. <laughs> the curls definitely come back to life when it's wet, but then online it just says wet your hair and then just let it air dry. I can guarantee you this doesn't look good once it's air dried. So let's figure out how to style it. I think I wanna start with this lotion leave-in conditioner because when she did this, it looked good. I did like it. So let's make this look better if possible. The name of this comb looks like a spelling error. Did someone just smash their hands on a keyboard to come up with a brand name? I'm gonna attach this and push it back and just... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> just dry it like this. So I have to travel everywhere with this? <laughs> This was not what I expected when I was looking for a low maintenance hairstyle. This is where we landed and it's, it's not that bad. This is, it just, it's a lot of work, which sucks. I could live with this. This is not, this is better than where we started, huh? I'm so over it. I mean, I got what I asked for. All in all, do I regret this? Yes. <laughs> But I got some nice clothes out of it. It's not gonna last forever. Maybe I'm gonna learn how to style it. Maybe it grows on me. I think it's fun. I'm glad I did it. So I guess I don't regret it. Also, what the, you know, like, what's going on here? I don't even know how, why do I, I don't know. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. It was fun. Next time, maybe we'll try bleaching it and getting a shorter haircut. I don't know. I kind of like that photo we saw earlier. Next video. Thanks for coming along my journey of trying to redefine myself. Let's get some final words from the Benito. Why are you gay? Okay. That's enough.